What is up everybody? My name is Paper Popper Player and today we're going to be unboxing Mono Green Stompy, a deck that's not crazy popular but has been one of my favorite archetypes since I even started playing Magic. I've played it in Standard, Modern, and now we're going to be playing it in Popper. So let's go and get this open. So I'm just going to, you know, do that. There's something very satisfying about taking all the packing peanuts and just pouring them everywhere. Let's go ahead and now scoot them all over because now they're in the way. So just like last time, I'm going to be sleeving the cards in my Dragon Shield green matte sleeves, and I'm going to be keeping them in my Ultimate Guard Boulder deck box. Green themed, of course. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these bad boys open. Now, some of you might be asking yourself, what is the purpose of Mono Green Stompy? Uh, well, the purpose is to uh, go very big uh, quickly and to literally just stomp over your opponents with uh, Trample. Uh, Popper does not have a crazy amount of uh, the same kind of pump spells that you'll find in other formats. Additionally, um, we're kind of using uh, some smaller creatures. There are not crazy big creatures in Popper that are like super great or anything. Uh, so we'll be using pump spells and whatnot to get our boys up to where we need them to be. So let's go ahead and get this first one undone here. Go ahead and admire the uh, Card Kingdom free token. That fairy art is beautiful. So uh, this deck is going to be running two Vault Scourge. Um, Phyrexian mana, one of the biggest mistakes in Magic the Gathering, honestly. Um, the ability to just play a card by using two life instead of paying its mana cost. Um, this card is very good. Uh, Flying and Lifelink um, goes over a lot of cards. If you get any pumps up on this, this thing will, you know, pretty much negate burn altogether. But Artifact Hate is pretty popular right now because of affinity. So, I mean, we'll see how long these end up living, but regardless, it's a great creature to have to go up top. Uh, we have our first... Oh, you know what? I need to actually be sleeving the cards we are going to be looking at our first sideboard card which is weather the storm um we talked about storm in the last video for mono black control which you can check out down below uh but storm basically uh will recast a card multiple times depending on how many spells you've cast for that turn uh so if you cast a couple uh pump spells maybe a creature for this and you then gain three life every time there's you know for the storm um it can get you 9 12 life so this card is to negate burn um extremely good card uh next Next card is going to be Quirion Ranger. Quirion Ranger uh, returns a force you control to its owner's hand. Untapped target creature uses ability only once each turn. So the good thing about this card is that if you have a lot of spare green mana, um, you can bounce a force that you can attack in and then also still have a blocker. Um, additionally, this deck runs copies of Nettle Sentinel, uh, which does not untap during its controller's untapped step unless you play a green spell. Uh, so this does kind of help that out, but there's also just some other creatures that when they go big, we want to be able to use them to block as well. Um, there is an uncommon printing of this that has a significantly better art. But, you know, when when a popper deck has an older version of a card, I just like using it. This makes a deck feel feel rustic, I guess. I don't know what it is. Uh, Sahani uh, Ledgewalker. Uh, Hexproof. Sahani Ledgewalker can be blocked by creatures, uh, except by creatures with flying. Um, this text is pretty important uh, because what it means is that Sahani Ledgewalker doesn't have flying itself. And if it did have flying, it'd be blocked by creatures with reach. So what this allows Sahani to do is is to block creatures with flying without being blocked by creatures with reach itself. Um, also has hexproof, so it can't be targeted. So uh, it's a great creature to pump since uh, your opponents can't target it but you can. Uh, a staple in Boggles, um, if you guys know what that is. Skargan Pit Skulk, uh, running four of these bad boys. Bloodthirst One. If an opponent was dealt damage this turn, this creature comes into play with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Uh, the other great thing about this card is that this card can't be blocked by creatures with less power than it. Now, Popper is notorious for having a bunch of dumb one ones in it, so this thing becomes very unblockable very quickly. Uh, drop a Vines of Astroid or Ranker on this bad boy, and nobody is touching him. Uh, Burning Tree Emissary. Uh, this is the full art card, non-foil, uh, because why would you not play this full art? Now, Burn Tree Emissary has split mana. I don't know if that's what's actually called, uh, but it has dual mana, so you can either pay two green, two red, or one red and one green for its mana cost. Um, when it is battlefield, you add red and add green. Uh, now, this deck is mono green, so that red mana is kind of whatever, but there are spells in this deck uh, that are like one green and one colorless, and additionally, it just helps kind of fuel your weather the storms when you do bring those in. Uh, it just is a 2-2 two -two that you could also target with a uh, sap Savage Swipe, which we'll talk about a little bit later. So now we have Hunger the Hellpack, and what this does is 
Uh, it's an instant, and you put 1-1 one, one counter target on your creature. Um, but it has morbid, so you put three 1-1 one, one counters on that creature instead of a creature died this turn. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take your creature, use Savage Swipe, which gives your creature plus two, plus two, and attacks your opponent's creature. And after your opponent's creature dies, you then use Hunger of the Hell Pack to then put three 1-1 one, one counters on your creature. And then now your creature basically has plus five, plus five, and then you just swing in and... and kill. <laughs> you, you just do lots of damage now because your opponent no longer has a blocker. Um, so that's kind of like the little combo of Savage Swipe that this has. Um, additionally to that, you know, it also just saves your creature from getting bolted, right? If your creature has three toughness and you just give it a plus one plus one, now it has four and it's not going to die from bolt. So um, that's Hunger the Hell Pack. Really good. We're playing four of those. A uh, Rancor! <laughs> When, when a, a popper, popper deck, deck has, has an older version of a card, I just like using it. A staple in all stompy decks across all formats. Um, Enchant Creature. Enchant Creature gets plus two, plus zero, and has Trample. When Ranker is put in the graveyard from the battle for return Ranker to its owner's hand. So unless they're able to exile enchantments, you will always have Rancor accessible to you. Um, it gives your boys Trample, and it buffs them. It doesn't buff their defense, unfortunately. Um, Rancor would be way too strong if it did. Uh, but it's a card that never goes away. So we are playing four of them. Some lists play three because they don't go away. So not necessarily to have four copies, but I play four. All right, Variety and Longbow. Uh, this is a ping card. Creature has tap for mana. This creature deals one damage to target creature or player for equip three. Uh, what this means is that I play this on the field for one, and then later on in on turn, I could pay three mana uh, to attach it to a creature, and then this ability will then become a part of the creature. So I could put it on any of them, and then if I were to tap that creature, uh, I could deal one damage. I could ping, you know, flyers and you know you just ping small creatures that my opponent might have play three of those and those actually i'm sorry are sideboards so we're gonna put them to our left all right more cyborg cards destroy target artifact or enchantment with conspire as you play a spell you may tap two untapped creatures you control that share a color with it when you do copy it and you may choose new targets of that copy um so you can cast this card multiple times for every time you tap two creatures um and you could destroy target artifact and enchantment um very good for a fandy right now like i said uh artifact hate is very very uh, popular at the moment um, and we have four copies of those in sideboard um, there's a couple different like destroy target artifact or enchantment spells in uh, popper um, some that even cost one mana but the two mana allows you to hit multiple things with this at once which is good um, since you know decks like affinity and eggs you know drop all of their cards in one turn you need to be able to hit multiple at once uh, hidden spider uh, this is a funky card that you don't see at all in popper which I don't know why um, this card I have a lot of fun with uh it's probably like my favorite card in this deck it's a three in sideboard um it's one green mana when one of your opponents successfully casts a creature with flying if hidden spire is an enchantment hidden spire becomes a three five creature that can block creatures with flying and that counts as a spider so basically speaking uh when you're playing against fairies uh you could drop this turn one and when your opponent plays fairy seer which is the one one fairy that allows them to scribe uh you will immediately have a 3-5 creature uh, that comes onto the battlefield uh, that you can then swing with. Um, and it's just, I just think it's a fun card. Whether it's super great or not is whatever, but I just, I love the art on it. I love what it does. Um, and a 3-5 boy is kind of hard to deal with. If you give it trample, it can then block the opponent's fairies. And it's just not an easy card to take down. Uh, and then we have Rap and Vagar, uh, which is regenerate each creature you control. If all your creatures die, this allows you to regenerate all of them, bring them back to the board. So then your opponent is sad because all their creatures died and yours did not those are also sideboard i think that's all the sideboard cards actually so let's go ahead and open up case number two uh looks like we have all of our forests in the back here this deck is running 18 i believe um so we'll go ahead and sleeve those in a bit elephant guide three mana enchanted creature gets plus three plus three when enchanted creature is put into a graveyard put a three three green elephant creature token into play so this card basically stops your creatures from being the target of your opponent's spells. Um, you put this and a Rancor on your creature, it's actually just bad news for them because they kill your creature, uh, you get 3-3 Elephant token, and then Rancor gets, goes back into your hand, and you just put Rancor on the Elephant, and now they have a 5-3 Elephant with Trample to deal with. Um, I love the art in this card, like I said, I just love old versions of cards. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I know I said that earlier too, 
and then I ended up showing like a new version of Rancor, but old Rancors are kind of expensive and I don't want to buy them. Um, Savage Swipe. Target creature you control gets plus two, plus two to end a turn if it has power of two. Uh, then it fights target creature you don't control. Uh, so most of our creatures in our deck, um, have two power. Uh, this card only targets creatures with two power, which I think is interesting. Uh, but you basically play this, uh, your creature becomes a 4-4, four, four, you fight your opponent's creature, they no longer have a blocker, and now you're swinging with a 4-4. Four, four. So that's why that card is good. Uh, we're only playing two, some decks play four, I'm only playing two. Uh, we are playing four Vines of Vastwood, another staple in Stompy decks and Infect decks. Um, Vines of Vastwood is one green mana with a kicker of green. Uh, target creature can't be the target spell of abilities your opponents control. Uh, and then if you kicked Vines of Vastwood for an extra green mana, so if you pay two green mana for this, um, your creature also gets plus four, plus four. So it gives your creature hex proof and gives him plus four, plus four. So it makes him very big and uh, makes him untargetable, uh, which is insane. So if you have a trample with this card, as well um this can be a game finisher you give a already semi big boy uh rancor and then you just kick a vines of vastwood your opponent can't do anything about it i would always play vines of vastwood in reaction to your creature being killed i would never just raw dog a vines of vastwood um i would wait for your opponent because if you if you do target your creature with vines of vastwood then your opponent can respond by killing it because it's not hex proof yet because vines of vastwood is still on the stack um so so play this reactionary um when you go to combat and your opponent's like oh uh, i'm gonna kill your creature before combat vines of Aswin. all right ambush viper um this is a card that i added to this deck that's not in other mono green stompy decks in popper it's a green and a colorless um it has flash and death touch and is a two one um i think this is a really good card when your opponent has a really big creature um that they're trying to swing into and they think that they're safe uh because you tapped out to swing in with your creatures um this allows you to drop a boy that just comes in and just kills them um additionally it's also a two one right so it can also be savage swiped um not at flash speed because savage swipe is a sorcerer uh, but it's just a good, you know, quick little bamboozle card for your opponent. Uh, now we have River Boa, uh, which has Island Walk, meaning that if your opponent has any islands, it cannot be blocked. Um, a good 2-1, blue is obviously a very common color in Popper. Uh, this is a card that we're only running two of, and if your opponent's not playing blue, um, you could probably just swap it out in your sideboard for other things. Uh, but it also has regenerate, so if it dies, you could play a green mana to bring it back to life. So there's that. Uh, we have three Nettle Sentinels. Nettle Sentinel does untap during your controller's untap step, but whenever you play a green spell, it does untap. So whether it's your opponent's turn or your turn, you can untap this card uh, by casting a green spell. Uh, this card can combo off a little bit. Uh, it is a 2-2, so it does work with Savage Swipe. Um, I think like every creature in this deck is a 2-2, except for Sohani Ledgewalker. Um, but, you know, Sohani Ledgewalker is also, like, extremely elusive, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we are playing three of these. Some decks play four. I think that's a lot. I mean, Nell Sentinel is a really good card, um, because it can basically just untap whenever, but at the end of the day, it is just a 2-2, and I would rather be playing four nest invaders um which is when a nest invader enters the battlefield put a zero one color soul draw you spawn a creature token on the battlefield it has sacrifice this creature add one man to your mana pool so this is a uh two mana two two uh that puts an extra creature on the board that can add for mana um definitely works well with a lot of our cyborg cards right uh wrap of vigor has uh green and a colorless gleeful sabotage is a green and a colorless whether the storm has a green and colorless so it just adds an extra body to the field and if you really want i mean you can pump that extra body uh you know it's it's a sack tool but nobody says you can't pump it so that's that and that is mono green stompy and popper okay and for clarification uh there are in fact 17 lands in this deck um so that's how many that we're running uh you could probably get away with running 16 uh but i think 17 is a sweet spot you definitely don't want to be mulliganing down to four because you can't find a land um but yeah so let's go ahead and get this uh boxed up so that is mono green stompy a not too popular deck in popper but is really strong um i think it's very underrated um and i just hold it close and dear to my heart you know whether if it is good or not i just love mono green stompy always have always will so we're gonna go ahead and get these put in here we're gonna be using that fairy token as our card divider for the time being go ahead and close this up 
And if you want to check other deck techs that I've done in the past, you can check that out down the playlist below. Next week, we're going to be uploading Rakdos Madness, um, which is a black red burn deck uh, that uses madness cards. So when they get discarded, you can cast them for a lower cost. Um, it just does a lot of damage. So that's what we're going to be unboxing next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Press the subscribe button down below to let me know that you're enjoying my content. And we'll see you guys in the next one.